Shalom. My name is Michael Adeyemi Adifarasi and I'm stuck on Romans 10, 17. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing from the word of God. Let me put it in the Greek, one word in the Greek. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing from the rhema of God. So the rhema of God is as you, you put, as I put it, a word from the word. So we have the rhema of God we have the Logos, which is Christ and his word. And then we have the Graphe. So the Rhema is contingent on the regular storing up of God's word in your heart. And when you need a word from God, God will go into that reservoir of his word that has been stored up in your heart. And he will bring a word from that word. So... If all you know is John 3.16, then all God can speak to you about is John 3.16. But the more of the word you have hidden in your heart, the more that God has to draw from and quicken a word for you, for your situation. Let me give you an example. Many years ago, I was struggling with nicotine addiction. I fasted for months to try and break this yoke of nicotine, nicotine addiction in my life. And one day I was reading Ephesians 6, uh, 17 and Romans 10, 17. And I went into a retreat and I began to pray and ask God, give me a rhema to deal with this situation. And after a short while in prayer, I heard a still small voice. The Lord asked me to keep quiet and listen. Many times we talk more than we listen. And I sense that in this season of our lives, we need to listen more than we talk. And he said to me, tell the devil, it is finished. On the cross of Calvary, Christ said, his statement was, it is finished. He put closure to a lot of things. And so I said, devil, the Lord said I should tell you, nicotine addiction in my life is finished. And boom, I felt a weight of 15 years lift off my heart and I was free from nicotine addiction because I heard a rhema word from God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing from the rhema. I pray that God will open your ears and awaken your ears morning by morning to hear as one being taught and give you a word relevant to your circumstances. See you next time. God bless.